A. Remember how somebody said the Niners would be foolish if they were to move on from Debo, right? Well, guess again. We can still keep Debo, but hey, this receiver is exactly the same as Debo. He's a physical. He's a good route runner. Dude, you can use him in different ways. Like Malachi Corley, I don't know. His game is just off the charts. I'm just, I don't know. I watch other receivers like legit. It's okay to me. I mean, it's all right. But Corley, oh my God, dude. This guy is hard to tackle. I'm not kidding. So if we were to get this kid, the NFL might need to investigate the 49ers for having illegal weapons on this team. Because that's picking your poison. Like, this guy is a mismatch. I mean, you can use him in different ways. Just like you do with Debo. This is like two Debos. If you put him as your number three, and you have Debo as your number two, and you have Ayuka as your number one, man, that's going to be ugly matchup. Or if we somehow keep uh, Juwan Jennings, that's even better. He would probably be our fourth option, but still, this guy would do everything. This guy's a physical, dominant wide receiver. I think he's already been coach on blocking, so I don't think that's going to be an issue with Kyle. I think this kid is going to be really, really good. I would be damned if we don't get this kid. You know, I thought maybe we should get Brandon Rice and some other guys, but the more I start watching Malachi Corley, the more I just like this kid. Just his game is unstanding. Like you either you either had to appreciate what this guy does. He comes from a he comes from a position that's very rare for a wide receiver because he does everything. He does it all. There's just natural wide receivers that just catch the ball. And then there's other wide receivers that you don't find often. They're like those kind of wide receivers you can't find all the time. Like your Debo Samuels, for example. A Debo Samuels, your Percy Harvins, your Cordero Patterson's type receivers. You don't find a lot of those guys. But Malachi Corley is one of them dudes that you got to take. This is a weapon. And this is something that we can take advantage of. If injuries come into play, this kid's going to ball out. I like his tape. If you watch his tape from Western Kentucky, dude, I swear I thought that was Debo Samuel out there. And then you watch his quarterback, you're kind of thinking, oh, my God, that just seems like Brock Purdy and freaking Debo. Those two. I'm, it's just, dude, I'm not kidding. Watch his tape. Watch Malachi Corley and see what I'm talking about. You would think Debo's out there. You would think Debo Samuel is out there, dude. I'm not fucking kidding. This is the guy we need to get. This is a guy that's going to make the opposing defense have problems. He's going to make the opposing defense have fits and have hard time game planning. They have a difficult time with Debo Samuel sometimes. But having another guy just like Debo, you are going to have more problems. And that's the point. You think McCaffrey and Debo and Ayuk are problems? You add Corley. This is going to be big, 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 big problems on the, on, the, on the offense, man. I'm telling you. This is the guy we need to get. A lot of ways you can use him. Maybe you can use him as a returner, and then he can push himself into to playing time as a receiver. But this dude's legit. This dude's badass. This dude has a body of the running back. This dude is hard to tackle. You can throw a screen pass. You can do a bunch of stuff with this guy, and you're still going to get hella great production out of this dude. So I'm just saying, man, go check him out. Malachi Corley, this dude is unbelievable.